to a, another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be game three between Machine starting in the upper right hand corner as the Grey Zerg and Loves Now starting as the Pink Terran bottom left hand corner. This is on Eclipse and this is BSL season 14 Hasu League round of eight. Now on Eclipse, again, I'm so thus far it's 2 0 in Machine's favor. I'm hoping Love gives a really good match this this round, but honestly, this is Eclipse. This is one of those maps that, yeah, stereotypically I'm going to favor a machine just because he's the guy who, he grinds out games. That's what he does on ladder and plays a, he'll stick with a style typically and then learn all the variations off that style. And currently he's been more in that get the three hatch lurker uh, sort of build. And I don't know. I just think that his macro, his ability to work through the build order is just a little bit stronger than Love's now. But I'm not going to call it just yet. This is a best of five. So Love needs to win this to keep his BSL hoops alive. We'll see how it plays out. Looks like we have an Overlord first. Build from Machine. I assume he's going to opt for the 12 hatchery. And we'll see how Love plays it from now. Thus far, just not really having any success versus Machine. At least as far as getting the dubs. Also want to give an announcement. Actually, I'm not sure when this is going to go up, but there's a lot of BSL. So BSL Season 15 has started, so I wasn't able to finish BSL 14 before BSL 15 is underway. So now we'll see if I can complete this before the, the finish is happening the opposite side. But be sure to check out Trovo, all the links everything from BSL 15. I'm hoping to cast as many of those games as I possibly can. I've actually set up kind of a... I've got my setup in a new location to potentially make that happen. Looks like we see a 12 hatchery spawning pool extractor for machine. Very standard. Love. Going to be able to go ahead and wander in. Machine able to wander in with his drone the opposite side. So the barracks is up. Looks like Love wanted to go for racks into command center. And he's going to be able to do so, so Machine not able to get the disruption that he potentially wanted to there. Is floating his Overlord across the map. Has a second one moving out midfield. SCV holding up short in between. So quick command center build here from Love. And Love going ahead and plopping down that supply depot. Machine not really going to be able to punish it. But we'll see if he does opt. Actually, not even upon seeing that, just straight building drones. Not even bothering... To save Larva for Zergling, immediately teching to Lair. But not making any movements to put a drone in position to potentially grab a third. I assume this is going to be two hatch Mutalisk. So we'll see how, and now it's just kind of that foot race to see how Love deals with it. it looks like he's going to go for three racks opener versus this. And I assume go for Academy range and play from there. If he has enough Marines, maybe can help mitigate. And never mind, Machine being a little bit clever here. So showing the early layer, looking like two hatch muta, and this is, I haven't seen Machine do this in quite some time. Instead, being up a game, deciding to be clever. So he is blocking out this SCV, that's gonna be critical. And instead opting to go ahead and get a Hydralis then down. And here's the other thing. The Academy will be in place for Love. Let's see if he off these three barracks, how long it takes him to get that commsat station to keep an eye on what Machine's doing. The Zergling's hunting SEVs down. It's possible that Love might have wanted to cut corners against Machine. And then I uh, play from there. Lurker Tech upgrading. I'm wondering if this is going to be the 8mm drop or if it's just going to be straight up Lurker on the front, maybe even hold position lurkers. It looked like that SCV making its way around diligently. There are additional Zerglings blocking things out. Machine moving out his drone to go ahead and take that 12 o'clock location. The nice thing about this build on this map is this is a build, this is a map with ramps. So what you can do is, is you can kind of rely on your opponent to I'm not sure why that particular SCV needed to die. But uh it looks like we do see the Comsat station being built after Stim is being researched. Double comps at station. So now it's going to come down to does love spot it? 
And secondarily, is he in time? This ICV scout looks like it's just going to get taken out. Some Marines are making their way across the map. Double creep colony being dropped in response. This is going to be necessary. There's the CompSat dropping. Unfortunately, it's just checking that front. Some fire bats and the medic getting caught behind this. So, oops. So Love does not recognize. So he's moving in with the medic Marine Force, but he does not recognize that it's Lurker Tech. Lurker being morphed on the front. First something calling down, second something calling down. Machine just trying to buy himself some time against this. And Love backing out a little bit with the one medic down. Trying to group up perhaps with this Firebat and this Marine. Now does the timing work out here? This Lurker is just a few seconds off, but it is going to take two Lurkers really to secure this front. And there's also this additional base that needs to be defended. Marines are heading up there. Looks like I think that's, uh, yeah, so we got the one lurker there. A single marine now got to find that hatchery to the north. Love not paying attention, eating a little bit of lurker fire. But he can go ahead and back out of this and threaten that 12 o'clock location potentially. He does have to worry about these lurkers running across and taking him from there. But machine now with five lurkers on the ground. Yeah, the, these marines stemming back. A couple other units. Looks like Machine is going to even cancel it. He's not even going to bother canceling. Just moving the Lurker. He's going to march straight towards Love's front. Love already has several bunkers in the way. This hatchery looks like it is potentially a lost cause. Machine's certainly treating it that way. The Lurker's working the way across. No engineering bay as of yet. That I, Okay, Zary, there is an engineering bay. But right now, Love in a strong position. He's able to take out that, that 1 o'clock base. This is kind of a desperation attack. Machine is also in the red behind this. Looks like some turrets are coming up in place. Now, is this sufficient troops to defend? There is there is a turret. So Machine just burrowing a slew of lurkers now on the front. To push his opponent in. He still has to worry about these fire bats and marines and a single medic that are out in the field looks like he's backing off of these lurkers sending out another drone to go ahead and grab another base but right now love surging ahead he's way ahead economically he's up 11 workers queen's nest dropping for a machine and he's dropping a third hatchery in base so it's critical that he establishes this additional gas in the bottom right hand corner the marines being slowly whittled away by the lurkers that were out on the front Looks like they're just trying to chase them down, plop down right in front of them. One lurker down. Nice bit of micro. Loses two marines, but honestly could have been a lot worse. And it looks like the rest of this attack force is going to be cleaned up. Now the secondary problem for love is, is who's out there? What's out there? You're not sure whether your lurker contained or not. Let's see if machine makes movements to go ahead and go hold position lurker and plant that somewhere out there. So it's going to be a while before love feels very comfortable. He wants to make sure he gets that science vessel before applying additional pressure. However, third base on the way, Hive Tech not that far off, Spire also being added. Evolution Chamber going for Carapace 1. So Machine looking for some recovery out of this. He's economically way behind, a little bit slower on the build order and a drop ship now in production for Love. So Love wants to go ahead and sail and drop into the main. This is also going to make attacks to the bottom right position over these three lurkers a little bit more threatening. And I think he might have the supply to do it. The only, and he's got three bunkers. So actually even just moving with this siege tank and ferrying a good amount of troops up. Does need the science vessel though. So the dropship's there, loading up some troops. Actually, he's even going to bother waiting. Might not even bother waiting. Might just go for a drop in the main. Hive Tech now coming online. Feel the lurkers on the front. Machine has three gas. Needs to buy himself some time. There's the Defiler Mound, which can shut down a lot and honestly is a great threat towards this front. Adrenal Upgrade's also upgrading, which means you're going to have those cracklings pressing on Love's front door. So Machine's initial loss of the hatchery being quickly 
made up for in grabbing that base in the bottom right hand corner and a straight move to hive tech creek colony being dropped in the front machine potentially anticipating i think he might have even seen this drop ship but currently does not have troops in position scourge are here but are they going to catch it so there is the drop ship does machine react some zerglings heading up the lurkers moving up the dropship not yet unloading troops and the scourge are there only one marine gets out two marines get out devastating for love oh so machine anticipating the drop quickly able to negate it love does have a decent sized attack force in the middle of the map at this stage he needs to push in the machine and slow him down in some way shape or form Midas canal is being built in the bottom right hand corner Defiler Mound Consume is about halfway finished here. Comsat's being dropped. Kind of look at the situation, seize the Defiler Mound, and that would be great cause for concern. Now, can Machine defend? This is a big troop grouping for Love. Pressing right in, not even bothered to see. Oh, the Siege Tank's getting a little bit out of position. Able to peel back. They are going to be able to keep those Siege Tanks alive. Lurker's getting wiped out. The Medic Marines looking to group. Defense Matrix Marine pressing forward to draw something Colony Fire. And is this sufficient defense? Is Machine going to be able to defend? Nidus Canal also getting taken out. Siege Tech now dropping. And the Lurker's pinned in the back corner. Ultralis Cavern's on the low ground. I don't know how long that's going to be around. The Defiler is here. Is able to drop Swarm. Just in the nick of time. One science vessel gone. Looks like drones are exposed in the bottom right. A couple of them getting picked off, but otherwise a decent defense. Barely in the nick of time. More science vessels getting wiped out. The siege tank's now exposed to the zerglings along that bottom corner, and it looks like Machine has defended somehow. So the Marines being cleaned up by zerglings and lurkers, and Machine with the last second defense able to clear out and reclaim his natural expansion now all of a sudden redropping that nidus canal love losing another control group a lot of siege tanks and he's potentially in trouble as the defilers are out he might get another shot or two at machine here plague being upgraded carapace one is online and the first ultralist taking the field only has that plus one carapace but i am shocked that even honestly that's a testament to Machine's macro here. Science vessel in place. There are stacked lurkers in that bottom right-hand corner. That's about as close as a defense as you're ever going to see, by the way. Siege tank working on the lurker line, forcing Machine to come out. The lurkers unburrowing, one getting irradiated. The rest of the siege tanks as they're stacking, getting annihilated by that... Siege tank zergling sweeping in. Sunk colonies down. The Marines are up on the high ground. There's no Nidus in place as of yet. The Zerglings trying to filter up, but they're coming in piecemeal. The Scourge also getting taken out. Finally, Swarm and an Ultralisk are here. Ultralisk Carapace upgrades here, but this is delaying mining time. It looks like some drones are getting wiped out. Machine has been playing it pretty drone light because of all of the defense and the sailing he's had to cope with. But it looks like, once again, this Medic Marine army is going to be taken care of and love maintaining a supply lead at 30, but he needs to start worrying about taking an additional base and slowing Machine's economy down. Machine grabbing the 1 o'clock base now, redroning. He's got all of the pieces he's looking for. Carapace 2 coming online, which is going to make these Ultralisks extremely beefy. He's got Defilers on the ground. Love has his work cut out for him, and also his science vessel count has been really cut into. He's only been working with a single starport. And really doesn't have a lot to potentially soften these Ultralis up. He's able to catch a Defiler right there. He needs to be very careful. Scourge trying to dive in on that science vessel. At the very least, providing scouting information. Machine grouping up with another Defiler in the bottom right-hand corner. Love occupying that high ground plateau on the interior three o'clock position a single lurker on defense the one o'clock the lurkers and defilers sweeping around and love 
looking to attack a very exposed natural expansion, a single Ultralisk there. The Science Vessel is exposed. It's going to get wiped out. Siege Tank sieging behind this. Defiler right there, though, and three Ultralisks going to be able to walk in and clear out all the Medic Marines. And now with that Plague, they are just a tap. It's just like going up and pushing them over. Ultralisk shooting through everything. Machine once again defending. Another CompSat drop. Love realizing that he needs to stop Machine here and now, looking to press things in. The Defiler was irradiated. Another Defiler has taken its place on the front lines. Medic Marine still here, but Love needs to apply pressure somewhere. Needs to get something happening to slow Machine down. Machine with a weakened Ultralisk, actually walking into plaguing his own Ultralisk. Another Science Vessel is getting taken out. Ugh. And Love gonna be, yeah, and also losing some Medic energy between all this. These Zerglings gonna be even more efficient. Some Vultures now being produced to try to clear out these Zerglings on the front. Maybe get some mines since that Science Vessel count has been greatly impacted by Machine's diligent Scourge play. Also sweeping across. They usually want Zerglings to clear those mines out. Another Medic Marine grouping being pinned there. It looks like Love wanting to try to pressure that bottom right hand base. There is a Sunken Colony here. There's no Nidus. Oh, sorry. There is a Nidus. It's just in a further back location. Trying to keep that pressure up so that Machine can't drone up and have that economy roll out of control. But mo more Ultralisks are taking the field. And actually, this might turn into a mind drag. More Plague being dropped as well. Love now potentially being able to sweep in and pressure this bottom right hand base the sunken colony not lasting long there these units are somewhat fragile because they were plagued love has established his third base behind this and he still has that supply lead and a worker lead an ultralis or two trying to counterattack that front door but there were already mines in place really eating them up and now love finding some room the scourge Looking to dive on that science vessel, not finding purchase to do so. Now finding it, another science vessel taken out, but it's an Ultralisk outnumbered by Marines, tanks, vultures, etc. And they've once again breached the bottom right hand corner. Now, is this going to turn into a capitalization though? No! Units spawn immediately to defend the vulture, the siege tank and Marines getting wiped out and machine once again with the defense at the last second, now evening supply up at 40 workers across four bases. Love's Bane's mind out. His natural ex expansion is very, very thin. He's down to one base. He's already setting up to go ahead and establish another. But that means he has to pause. And this is a scary situation to pause in as Machine has defended everything. He's kept his economy rolling. It's starting to saturate everything. Is working on Carapace 5. Love has been diligent with his upgrade. So he's got level 3 weapons, level 2 armor. And I believe level... Let's see if we can find if level... Yeah, level 3 armor is on its way. No second starport as of yet. No additional base as of yet. And Machine taking some breathing room to go ahead and reestablish. Just making sure additional bases haven't been taken out in the field still behind a little bit in supply but this pause is allowing that ultras force that defiler force to grow and small pauses in attack like this if you don't yeah well this is actually what you need on love's part to go ahead and defend against this marines actually without medic support here potentially because of the defilers out in the field machine spots it a lot of vultures wanting to plant mines to soften those ultralisks up the Ultralis diving forward with the Radiate. And keep in mind, there's no medics to support these Marines, so they are going to be very, very fragile. A Plague landing on the Science Vessels, catching an Ultralis with them. Some Vultures also getting hit in the midst of this, and this army is being melted and pushed back. The small mercy is, is this isn't an attack force that's ending up on Love's front door, trying to deal with the Defiler in the background, not able to do so. And now Machine feeling very comfortable with his four bases. The Vulture tri Vulture's trying to sneak through. 
Looks like they are able to get through. They might be able to get some drone kills. Drones, battle drones coming off the line to go ahead and defend this. Making short work. Love the battle drones. So Love expending yet another army. Starting to empty his bunkers to try to press forward. He's got this 9 o'clock base up and running, and that is it. Natural expansion is empty. He's got 52 minerals at home. Is now working on armory upgrades. Building another command center on the ground, but this is again giving breathing room for machine. Machine evening up the supply. More ultralisks and zerglings out in space. And these mines, I don't know how long they're going to last, but that seems to be the only defense. Keeping machine away from that nine o'clock position and also the front door. Love moving out another grouping of pure marines and vultures. Ignoring medics at this stage because of that plague. Ultralis and Zerglings going to go ahead and back off. We're not seeing the full swarm here. Hydralis also being added into this attack force. And without that medic support, they actually trade pretty well. Marine able, or sorry, some mines clearing out some of Machine's attack force. This is more of a nuisance more than anything. But right now, Machine with a huge amount of map control. Let's see if Love can get that command center out and field it. Some Zerglings now walking across the map. Doing that mine clearing duty. Machine grabbing another base at the 11 o'clock location. But right now things are looking grim for snow. Trying to cycle about. Stop these Zerglings from clearing out these mines. Zerglings in large numbers sweeping to the south. Look, machine looking like he also wants to go ahead and claim the four o'clock position. Groupings of vultures and marines pushing into the upper nine o'clock location to go ahead and potentially establish that. So Love can keep his economy rolling. But Ultralisks, Hydralisks, and Scourge are sweeping across the top of the map. One, to potentially provide some defense, but two, potentially to threaten this location. Love actually going to distance mine. Machine, a little bit in the red. Some medic marines sneaking through to the four o'clock location. Going to run into some zerglings and a hydralis right there. Because that attack's happening piecemeal, might be able to force a cancellation. Machine not responding to it yet with an attack at either location. Continuing to allow that hatchery to build, though. And Love now actually has replenished that science vessel count. Is moving up. He's finding that hatchery. But this is a scary army. Nine Ultralisks looking to sweep and pin this attack force. None of them have been irradiated. Science vessel's getting obliterated. Two... Looks like the, the Defiler is going to get caught here, but not before it's able to drop a swarm on this army. The more science vessels is getting wiped out. So this army being pinned back. A medic just watching that hatchery finish. Perhaps realizing that, yeah, that can be taken down the line. And Love now not going to be able to defend. He just doesn't have enough to defend this 9 o'clock. From this swarm of Ultralisks pushing in. Science Vessels trying to irradiate. Three Ultralisks, four Ultralisks, now three. Boxing out Marines as the rest of the Ultralisks are feasting on the SCV line. The Hydralisks also picking away at that command center, and that is going to reduce Love again down to a single base count. So it's going to be one base versus several for Machine. The Ultralisks continuing to stand. Pumbling into the Medic Marines along that 9 o'clock base. SCV trying to distance mine. It's actually necessary at this point for Love just to stay competitive. He's behind in supply. Machine sweeping into the 9 o'clock base. Science Vessels picked off by Hydralisks this time. And Love's base completely breached. He's going to be able to, yes, sweep in and take out this 4 o'clock base. But Machine still has four bases up and operational versus just the one for Love. Bunker is empty on the high ground. Everything just, yeah. 
And Love actually saying what's in uh, my brain. GG in the round of four, you should easily win. <laughs> Love actually giving the huge compliments to Machine. Down the line, which I think are well-deserved and also echo uh, my sentiments as well. So Love unfortunately eliminated from this season of Hasu League. Machine advances to the round of four. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.